We've been doing a lot of talking about torque sensors, which is something that we're seeing on the newer models of the Aventon range here. But what does that actually mean? And what does buying a torque sensor mean over buying a cadence sensor? Well, let's have a talk about that. So we'll start off by talking about cadence sensors because that's what we've seen on the Aventon range up until the start of this year. A cadence sensor works by basically detecting whether the pedals are moving. There's no dynamic power management. If the pedals are moving, the motor is on. It's a very straightforward and simple mechanism that gives you quick acceleration, but it can make your speed a little bit uncontrollable at times. However, they are a lot of fun. Now let's talk about torque sensors. A torque sensor works differently than a cadence sensor because instead of just measuring whether the pedals are turning, it actually detects how hard you are pedaling. And the harder you pedal, the more motor power output you get and the more pedal assistance you get. So if you choose a bike like the Event on a Bound or the Level 2 here that come with a torque sensor, what you'll get is a very fluid and dynamic ride. And the easiest way that I find of explaining this is, imagine you're pedaling a bike with super powers. Every push on the pedal does a little bit more than you should, but it still feels just like riding a regular bike, except you're going a little bit faster and it's a little bit easier. So you might be wondering, is a cadence sensor faster than a torque sensor? And the simple answer is no, they're not. The speed of the bike is powered by the motor and the battery combination there. But what you do get with a cadence sensor is a faster acceleration. But it does have a limitation on speed depending on what pedal assist mode that you're going to. Because the motor is on or off with a cadence sensor, if you want to cycle, it will take you up to, let's say, 15 kilometers per hour. And if you stop pedaling, the bike will start to slow down. There is no in between. You are quite restricted in your top speed in terms of what level of assist you're going to. And it can be a little bit hard to adjust your speed to suit your riding style. With a torque sensor, however, if you want to speed up, just pedal a little bit harder and you'll get more power from the motor. If you want to slow down, just pedal a bit gentler and the motor will back off. That means you have full control over your acceleration and full control over your speed. But because the motor's not on 100% power all the time like you get in cadence sensors, this means you can get up to 20 to 30% better range from a torque sensor e-bike as well. So is a torque sensor better than a cadence sensor? And the simple answer is it really depends on what you want. At the Electric X office here, we have a bit of a penchant for the cadence sensor. And the reason for that is because it's got faster acceleration, it's easier to get up to high speeds, and all you have to do to reach the top speed of these bikes is just keep the pedals turning. It doesn't matter how fast you're pedaling, how hard you're pedaling, you can reach the top speed of these bikes with no effort whatsoever. However, that doesn't mean that the torque sensors are slow. It just means if you want to reach top speed, you are going to have to show the torque sensor that you want to reach top speed with your own pedaling. But the trade-off you get here is that torque sensors are in fact safer because of the control they give you over the bike. If that's more important to you, then torque sensor is a better fit. In all honesty, this conversation is somewhat redundant because all of Anton's from 2023 and 2024 onwards are shipping with torque sensors but we do still have stock of e-bikes with cadence sensors such as the ones you see here. And overall, it's fantastic to see that e-bikes such as the quality of these ones here shipping with torque sensors for the price that you pay. And they're proving incredibly popular. Even bikes that are on pre-order are selling out faster than we've ever seen. So whether you have a preference for torque or whether you have a preference for cadence, you can get both of them online right now at electrickicks.com.au.